Now let's take a look at some of our other pains in the library. A very important pain in our library, and again that's P-A-N-E, is the search pane. All right. The search pane is where you can go to to search for content inside of the library. Now I'm going to grab this little line here and bring it down to give myself some more room on the screen. Again, I just grab that line, this dotted line, and drag it down. And now my little panes have turned into icons. All right, and again, that gives me more room on the screen. I can also double click my ribbon and that will give me even more room on the screen to search as well. All right, so let's go back to that question, is there a way to identify what objects will be affected before making a change to a template? All right, the way to find out is to go to the search pane. All right, you can go to the search pane and let's go to this criteria based on, which means what template is that object based on? Well, we were talking about the chapter template in that scenario, so I'll go to Topic Object, Chapter Template, and click OK. Find Now. And here's all of the objects in my library that are based on that chapter template. All right, And I can open up objects in this view, take a look at their contents if I'd like to. But here's going to be those objects that will be affected by that change. All right? That's one way to figure out what objects would be affected. There's another way uh, to uh, pull that sort of reporting, and that is through something called show relationships. All right? You can select an object and see what relationships that object is in. Let's do our show relationships report here. And it will tell you down at the bottom, this object is used in the following books and topics. All right, so that means if you make a change to this topic, it is affecting all of these objects that are currently using it. All right, and again, that was right click. Show relationships. So see what relationships that object is currently in. All right. You can run that report by right clicking. You can also run it from this author ribbon show object relationships icon as well. Does the exact same thing. So a couple different ways to do that. You can simply search on objects based on that chapter template where you can select that chapter template and run a show relationships report and it will do the same thing for you. All right. Now there's some very handy fields inside of the search pane that I'll go ahead and point out to you here. Let's hit reset to reset our search criteria. Starting with this containing text field. This containing text field allows you to enter in some keywords here, time travel, for example. Now here are all of the objects that have those words time travel inside of them. You can also do Boolean searches in here if you'd like. Let's do time not travel, time or travel, for example. And I'm just entering in that containing text and then hitting the enter key. You can also hit Find Now, and it will do the same thing for you. This is a wonderful, wonderful feature to get familiar with as soon as possible. Searching is your friend. I highly recommend you get comfortable with the search pane. It is a glorious thing. All right. Some other options that you have here are searching by object code. Let's say I told Steve, hey, Steve. Please go out and take a look at object 1157. I'm not quite sure if I got the contents right on that one. So Steve would go in, search on object code 1157, hit find now, and it takes you directly to that object. You can see here in the code column that this is the object based on object code 1157. 
he'd open that up, tell me what he thinks. Kendra, I think you did a lousy job on this topic. You need to start over again. All right. So go ahead and, and take a look at the various search options that you have available to you in the search pane. They, they are pretty much straightforward. Um, get comfortable with search pane. It is, is a wonderful, wonderful thing. 